Uh, I'm crying. <laughs> this may surprise you, but counterfeit Linus Tech Tips merch has actually existed for longer than real Linus Tech Tips merch. So for a laugh, we rounded up every fake LTT product we could find on Amazon, AliExpress, and others ordered all of it, and I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing it for you guys. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> oh my God, this is awful. I hope I didn't pay too much for it. Just like I hope our sponsor didn't pay too much for this sloppily recorded outside of the video sponsor spot. Are you lagging out while gaming? Use Glasswire and see what apps are wasting your bandwidth and causing your games to lag. Get 25% off using offer code Linus at the link down below. This one's off Amazon.ca and it is the WXZDH uh, Linus Tech Tips Men's Comfortable T-Shirt and Hats Combination Black. WXZDH is not a brand. You got some loose threads here. Okay, no, I don't know if I would describe this construction as real. It feels pretty cheap. I would expect that the cost, like materials cost on this hat, it's like a dollar. Okay, what about the shirt though? What about the shirt? Oh, I was gonna say, you know, the shirt's not bad, but that print quality, lordy. There's a reason we have these things printed with our supplier here down the street. There's just no substitute for the care and attention of someone who cares and pays attention. <laughs> How old is this logo? This is ancient. We haven't used this logo in years. How much work is it to actually line up the two layers of the print? So you can see with some colors, you actually have to do a white layer before you do your color layer. And they went so cheap and so sloppy on the orange ink that it doesn't even cover. And you can actually see the white through it, especially at the edges. You know, the t-shirt's not bad. Our merch team said that apparently the hat smells really bad. So now, oh, it does smell really bad. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Why? Oh, Ugh. I'll be modeling all this merch for you as you go. Wow, this is a really shallow hat. Like, okay. How do I look, David? Uh, you should go to a tailgate party. <laughs> Linus Tech Tips boxer briefs. Linus to Eck to Ips. They even know they're infringing our trademark. This is 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Ride up problem is caused by choosing a smaller size than you need. Please check your leg circumference. Okay. <laughs> This is great. Keeps your stuff in place. It has two sets of quotation marks on stuff. Ooh, white inside. Particularly with the V11s, we would have strongly preferred a more vibrant color. And one of the ways to get a more vibrant color on your print is to have a white fabric that you then dye. New guy, do you want white insides of your underwear? I'm not saying you look like a skid marker, you know? That's not what I'm saying, I'm just saying, David, would you want white insides of your underwear? Oh, most definitely not. <laughs> most definitely not. I mean, we all knew this, uh, we all knew this was gonna be an awkward shoot before it began, so. Man, I didn't realize quite how naked I was gonna be getting today. I thought this was all gonna be like t-shirts and stuff. That's what happens when you ask Sarah to scour the internet for counterfeit merch. I know it's oh! 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 Wait a second. This doesn't even have a, you can't even, how do you, how do you pee? There's no, there's no thing. Uh, yeah, how do I look? They're very shiny. Um, you look like you're about to take a bike ride. Without getting into too much detail about how the anatomy of stuff works, um, this is a really square pouch. <laughs> it's just flat, see? It doesn't actually have a pouch. This is way more awkward than I actually expected. Let's have a look at the merch team's notes on this one. The white fabric color shows through where the material stretched. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Look how different the color of this is when you stretch it. What is this? Avbermen's Women Headband Lainus to Ek to Ips. <laughs> Fashion quick dry moisture wicking sports sweatband for yoga running basketball cycling. Anti-skid design. Too bad the underwear didn't have that. Hey! <laughs> All right, all right, show me this headband. It looks terrible. It's sewn at the back, so you can't unfold it all the way. And then it's like, 
big at the front. I mean, do I just look like an idiot? No, you look like you're on Survivor. <laughs> oh, good. Super easy to clean. Just rinse it out in the sink and hang it up to air dry? Uh, no, that, that's not actually how you clean things. You know what? Okay, all right, all right. This one, this one's not that bad. I could get into this one. It kind of bunches up weird at the back though. Like that's not really very comfortable. Oh, next up we've got a beanie. We've got a toque. Oh wow, it looks terrible. And why does it say fashionable to Obi Ka'ith hedging head hat for men? What is a head hat? This is not a beanie at all. Hold on a second. This is the same thing. Feels like the same quality bag that you get for free with like your power supply, that you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, like that's what it that's what it feels like. Oh, it's not comfortable. It's really tight. Okay, just a sec. Ew. Looks like you're going swimming. Yeah. <laughs> the models just got it kind of like floppy doodling in the back here. Hold on a second. Where's the logo? Just okay. Every wait a minute. This print is a completely different size from what's in the picture. I would have to do a whole turn on the catwalk for anyone to know what brand I'm wearing here. This is it, Pro proof's in the pudding, baby. Yes. This, is, this is a dramatically superior product. I mean, it does cost twice as much, but it's like, come on. How much better do I look right now, LTTstore.com? But part of the deal here is I actually have to wear the counterfeit merch. That's why I'm wearing the underwear and this ugly shirt. Oh, there's a mouse pad. Well, we've been out of stock of our mouse pad for quite some time. Maybe a counterfeit mouse pad is your solution to having an LTT mouse pad. This one actually looks pretty good. It's three millimeter rubber. Ours is three and a half. I found the extra little bit of cushion was, was nice. All right, hit me with this one. This is the least crappy counterfeit merch we've seen so far. It's not as big as it seems like it's gonna be in the picture. This is, this is a very deceptive looking picture. The measurements are in the product description though, so. Okay, all right. It's currently unavailable because as we know, it's impossible to keep an LTT mouse pad in stock, but uh, actually not bad. And they at least ripped off our current logo. I think this has been modified from that fan version that we that we got permission to use for that wallpaper that we that we use all the time. Overall, I wouldn't be like furious if I got this. Our black is blacker. Okay, well, little things. So we're not gonna be switching suppliers to one that ripped off our products anytime soon. Next up, we've got the Linus Tech Tips GPU sweatshirt. Oh, this is pretty straightforward then. So they just took our GPU t-shirt design, threw it on a sweatshirt. Our apparels with outstanding quality are screen printed and designed in the USA. I can tell you for a fact that that artwork was not designed in the USA. <laughs> Hit me with it. This is dog shit. I guess when I looked at it. They aren't printing with gold foil at all. This is just yellow. And you know what it actually looks like? Is they just took like a thumbnail sized picture of the gold and then blew it up to sweatshirt size. Also, does this say it's a hoodie? This doesn't even have a hood. Like I get it, guys, we're working on sweatshirts. We really are. We just haven't found anything that meets our standard and this sure as heck isn't gonna be it. Just buy, buy the gray crew neck, okay? It's French Terry, it's super heavy, it's got like stealthy pockets with zippers and, and all that. Someone made a Linus etch tips throw pillow. How did you even find this stuff? Magic. A lot of searching. All right, hit me with it. Now that's something you need looking at you from your couch. You know what? This one's not bad. Like if I ordered this and I was like, I want Linus's face on a pillow creepily staring at me, you up? <laughs> Mission accomplished, ladies and gentlemen. Are they allowed to use Linus's picture? Uh, no. You know what? <laughs> New award, best counterfeit merch, this pillow. It needs a better fill with like more alpaca wool, like our CPU pillow. This is a much higher quality pillow right here. 23 US dollars, I'm okay with buying this. Still what they're doing is illegal and they better stop. Linus etch tips throw blanket. <laughs> this thing is huge, what? I don't know why anyone in their right mind needs to own this, but now they can. 
when you go like this, you can tell the die job is not very good. And like there's, there's problems with it, but if we could find a good supplier, do you guys want something like this? I mean, you gotta let us know in the comments if you see anything. This picture, is, it looks so bad. The one on the bed where my face is all like distorted. Have you seen this, David? Cool. I'll be watching the rest of this, the rest of this unboxing eagerly. Apparently we got a t-shirt coming up. This is also from Redbubble. Hit me. The good news is that at least from the pictures of this one, I have very low expectations of the quality. Cold wash only, don't tumble dry, don't slap pandas. I can get behind that. I wouldn't slap a panda either. This is a really crappy t-shirt. Comfy material, just really thin. How distorted does my face look right now? Uh, unrecognizable. Cool. It also looks like you have two mouths. They're custom printing these, obviously. Like nobody would, in their right mind, would mass produce this. You know, the print quality is actually not bad. Here come leggings. Yeah, baby. This poor stock model, I think is the same one from the last one. Do not slap pandas. So this is from the same brand as the shirt I'm wearing. So I could have a matching ensemble here. If you have it on, Linus's face will stretch out on different parts of the leg. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. You got the wide face, you got the narrow face. You got the short face. How do I look? Like, do these make my butt look big? I think they're flattering, yeah. Are they flattering? Okay. I also have two pairs of underwear for support though, so. <laughs> what the hell is a face skirt? <laughs> Why the hell would anybody buy this? You know, I'd love to be able to see on a site like this, how many units they've ever sold ever? Cause I bet the number for this one is zero. <laughs> Your butt looks great now. Does it? I got four layers now. It's tight. I've never worn a skirt before, but my understanding is you're supposed to kind of sit like this in them, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Oh my God, there's socks. <laughs> the ink is really saturated. It feels sticky and hard, is what the merch team has to say about these socks. Oh, these look horrible. What's uglier, my ugly feet or this ugly sock? Head to toe, Linus Tech Tips, baby. How sexy am I right now? You know what, to their credit, the, uh, the oversaturation of the color actually is reduced by stretching it out on my foot. So it's intentional, it's a, it's a feature, not a bug. Oh my God, there's a mask. Just, just give it to me. Look at this, look at this Photoshop. <laughs> Why? Oh, what now? What is a peekaboo pocket t-shirt? Show me this. <laughs> this looks like dog crap. This mask is horrible. And my breath is bad. We managed to attract a crowd. Don't, don't, don't miss the show here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what is this? LTT Essential T-shirt, Comic Sans oh, oh. logo, why? Oh. I mean, I love, oh. they Comic sans oh. our our logo. This is so unhappy. LTT Essential shirt, sure, hit me with this one. The print quality is just atrocious. There's, there's a hole, there's a hole in it. They've got a hole in the print. There's an Etsy one. It's a CPU pillowcase. This seller got banned within a few weeks of us ordering it. So there's no link anymore. Assembled in the USA. All right, hit me with it. Oh. <laughs> this is supposed to be the CPU pillow. Uh, I says, pardon? <laughs> I think not. How much did I pay for this atrocity? For, what? Oh. $40? It didn't even come with the pillow. Oh, there's a components lightweight sweatshirt. Oh, okay. They ripped off that design that we did as a crew only design and the printing is terrible. Okay. All right, this is the last piece of counterfeit merch that I will put on today. Ew, the inside feels terrible. Looks like a movie theater logo in the 90s. Hey, we designed that. Well, you didn't, I know. Oh, I can't believe this stuff exists. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want real LTT merch, please go to lttstore.com. We got underwear in stock. We got water bottles. We have much better toques than this gross, horrible thing that I'm wearing. And you know what? There is a, a, a lack of Linus face printed on absolutely everything you can think of, but I can't believe our poor sponsor sponsored this video. <laughs> Want to make your own website selling fake LTT merch? Well, you can do it with Squarespace. Squarespace gives you the tools you need to build and grow your online presence. They've got tons of templates spanning a large variety of categories. So whether you need a website for your blog or your wedding or your business, Squarespace has you covered. You can get a domain quickly through Squarespace if you need one or pour it over an existing domain that you already own. So why wait? Get started with a free 14 day trial by going to squarespace.com forward slash LTT. By the way, add our link down below. You'll also get 10% off your first purchase. In all seriousness though, do not make counterfeit LTT merch. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out mean comments because I'm sure this one's going to be full of them. <laughs>